kids miss kulkarni here let's talk about lab safety and ghs symbols in this video in our labs we use chemicals of course and all the chemicals they have something which we call sds sheet this is the safety data sheet and the other thing we have to remember is the chemicals come in a package with symbols like these these are called ghs symbols which stands for globally harmonized system let's try to understand the meaning of all these terms and also the ghs symbol and how they can help us in keeping ourselves safe into lab the first term here is irritant look at the symbol it's like an exclamation mark or if you think carefully it may look as if it's upside down i so what exactly is irritant irritant is the one which irritates the skin or eyes and it can also cause of course some rash so stay away from irritant be careful next one is corrosive and if you look carefully in the figure for ghs symbol you can clearly see it's as if eating up that metal there so what exactly is that that eats away the objects it can actually form pits in the metals so quickly and it can do same thing for your skin too so it can cause burns to skin and eyes so if any chemical is marked as corrosive you have to be extremely careful next one is health hazard some of the chemicals may be dangerous to us and it may be quick effect or it may be long term after maybe couple of months we may see the effect if you look at the figure ghs symbol it's clear it kind of has a shiny star with the human body that means it's about the health so what exactly that means some of those could be carcinogenic substances which can cause cancer some could be radioactive substances those are still worse because they can cause some mutations and that's something both of these things we are going to learn later the next one toxic pretty easy what the word means it must be poisonous and look at the figure here that's pretty clear so toxic is poisonous and it may cause unconsciousness and it may lead to even death sometimes moving on look at the ghs symbol very clear that's a flame there that's called flammable substance so what does it mean a substance that can easily set on fire so bottom line you're not going to keep this substance very close to a bunsen burner or a hot plate the next one oxidizer and now the ghs symbol for both these look almost similar except if you look carefully this one has an o inside that o stands for oxidizer from o so these are chemicals which can still set a fire but how does that happen these actually steal electrons from other substances and these are highly highly chemically reactive moving on explosive look at that firework there that's a ghs symbol and you know what explosive means it can explode easily and even it can self react by itself pressurized gas this is like a cylinder with the gas that's the symbol so the gas is always stored in cylinder under high pressure so we have to be careful not to bring it close to any hot surfaces and in general just be careful about any pressurized gas next one environmental issues look at that it shows tree and fish so a substance chemical substance could be toxic to aquatic life or it could be also dangerous for any ecosystem and we have to be careful again how to dispose of such chemicals all right that's it guys so when you work in the lab make sure you need to look at sda sheet find out the ghs symbol and after you find out that find out the category and what it means that's it if you are careful in the lab we all are going to be safe 
and you will have ton of fun in chemistry labs so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i will see you again in my next video until then bye bye